Hello students, in this video, we're going to learn about five methods for the preparation of alkenes. Alkenes can be prepared from unsaturated hydrocarbons, from alkyl halides, from monocarboxylic acids, from carbonyl compounds, and from Grignard reagent. So let's start from the unsaturated hydrocarbons. As you can see here, the process is known as hydrogenation. As the name indicates, it's the addition of hydrogen across a double triple bond of alkenes and alkynes to form alkenes. It is also known as Sabati ascendance reaction. Students, I am the creator of this channel Conceptual Learning and my name is Saba. So you can remember this name by my name, Sabati Ascendance Reaction, and this is the hydrogenation process. Students, nickel catalyst is used. Platinum and palladium can also be used, but they're very expensive. So usually nickel is used. And this reaction is carried out at 200 to 300 degrees centigrade. As here you can see that alkene, that is ethene, it is converted into ethane by the addition of hydrogen in the presence of nickel catalyst. This process, that is hydrogenation process, is industrially used to convert vegetable oil into vegetable ghee. Now let's see the mechanism of this reaction. This is the metal catalyst surface. You can see it's flat and hydrogen gas gets absorbed on the surface. It gets attached on the metal catalyst surface. Now this is alkene. It also attaches to the catalyst surface. Now if you've seen my video on hybridization, you must know that it is sp2 hybridized and stereochemically it is also flat. So when two flat surfaces approach each other, what happens is that hydrogen, the only way hydrogen gets attached to this alkene is the way that it gets attached on the same side or on the same face. Now here you see that hydrogen atom is transferred to the alkene. And then a second hydrogen atom is transferred to the alkene like this arrow is indicating. Now you see that two hydrogen atoms have added to the same face on the double bond. And this is known as syn addition. The product is a saturated alkane. Here you can see. Now let's see the preparation of alkane from alkyl halides. By reduction process, alkyl halide, it is converted into alkane. Now here you see it is methyl iodide. Zinc and hydrogen iodide or aqueous acid is used. And what happens is that zinc takes iodide ion from this molecule and then iodide from this. And it gets zinc iodide and satisfies its oxidation state. Now, nascent hydrogen is produced and this hydrogen is taken by this alkyl group that is methyl group and methane is formed as a result. So, by reduction process, alkyl iodide, it is converted into alkane in the presence of zinc and hydrogen iodide or aqueous acid. Another reaction is Franklin reaction. Franklin reaction. Now, in this reaction, again, alkyl halides are used, but only zinc metal is used. And this is used to reduce this alkyl halides into alkane. Now what happens is that two molecules of alkyl halides, they react with zinc. Zinc takes two halides and forms zinc halide and satisfies its oxidation state. And what happens is that two alkyl groups that are remained in the solution join together, bond together and form alkane. Methane cannot be prepared by this method. As you can see that at least two carbons are required to form alkane in this process. So this is known as Franklin reaction and in this process alkyl halides it is converted into alkenes and zinc is used in this process to, re to reduce this alkyl halide now let's see the third process for the preparation of alkene it is from monocarboxylic acid students here you see that this is caustic soda and sodium hydroxide it is caustic soda you must remember and this is calcium oxide it is quick lime the mixture of both of these is known as soda lime and basically soda lime is used in this case to handle caustic soda practically well, we use calcium oxide. As sodium hydroxide, it is very corrosive and can cause serious burns. So this is sodium salt of an acid and this is sodium hydroxide. And this reacts with the sodium salt and form alkane and sodium carbonate. What happens is when sodium salt of fatty acid, they are heated with soda lime. What happens that they eliminate a molecule of carbon dioxide to form alkanes. This process of elimination of carbon dioxide from carboxylic acid it is known as decarboxylation. The alkane produced in this method is one carbon less than the carboxylic acid. Simply put, the sodium hydroxide, that is caustic soda, sees a vulnerable carbon dioxide and grabs it to make carbonate, giving up its protons to balance the electrons all around. Now, this is from carbonyl compounds, the preparation of alkanes. This is Clemenson reduction, and in this case, Zinc amalgam and hydrochloric acid, they are used. Basically, this reaction is carried out in acidic medium. So this carbonyl compound, which is acetone or propanone, it is converted into propane and the byproduct formed is 
water. Zinc mercury amalgam and hydrochloric acid are used for this reaction process. In the wolf kishner reduction process, hydrazine and potassium hydroxide, that is, this reaction is carried out in basic medium. What happens is that the carbonyl compound, it is converted into alkane by the addition of hydrogen and water is produced as a byproduct. Students, the mechanism of these two reactions is discussed already in my previous video. You can see there. Now, let's see the preparation of alkane from grignant reagent. Now, grignant reagent is alkyl magnesium halides. Just remember, alkyl magnesium halide. Magnesium, it is the second element of the second group of the periodic table. And it is a metal. It has positive charge. Alkyl halides, they react in anhydrous ether with magnesium to form alkyl magnesium halides. And they are known as grignant reagent. They decompose to, on treatment with water or dilute acids to give alkanes. So you can say that grignant reagent, they decompose on treatment with water or dilute acid to give alkanes as you can see here. Now you see here that alkyl has a partial negative charge and magnesium bromide has a partial positive charge because it is a metal, it has positive charge and automatically it will get a negative charge. Hydrogen has positive charge in water and hydroxide has negative charge. You know very well that opposite attracts. So what happens is that CS3, it attaches hydrogen and forms methane and the rest of the molecule is formed. They get attached to each other and this is magnesium bromide hydroxide. So in this way, by grignant reagent, alkenes are produced. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Wish you all the best.